Hey there, I'm Cruzen, and I'm bringing you a quick video to show off a couple of tricks I learned recently that will make flying and landing your VTOLs much easier. This was originally discovered by Spooty Man, who runs the Couch Stream on KSP TV's Twitch channel. So here's the trick in action. You'll do what everyone who has ever flown a VTOL before has tried to do, land on top of the VAB. This is much trickier than most other landings because of the smaller landing zone and the change in height. Oftentimes you'll find yourself climbing an altitude only to overshoot the top of the building and end up hundreds of meters above the helipad but not with this trick. Doing this, you'll find yourself coming in nice and level for a quick and easy landing every time. On top of that, your plane will sound like a turbocharged streetcar. <laughs> so learning how to do this trick is very simple. But first, I want to show you the original technique that Spooty Man discovered. I think he stumbled across this while he was working on his uh, SSTOs on his stream. The concept behind the trick is something that a lot of SSTO or high altitude flyers will know about. When your engines flame out, they stay spooled up, even when the engines aren't providing any thrust. As soon as they get air again, though, they return instantly to the thrust level they were at. You can use this information to your advantage when it comes to flying and landing VTOLs by tying all your air intakes to a single action group and toggling them on and off. What this does is it gives you rocket-like power response, but in a jet engine. Basically, your engines will have thrust memory, which will provide you with instant power whenever you open up your intakes. This can be used to pull off some pretty cool stuff, from instant takeoffs to altitude control. I highly suggest that you try this out if you get a chance. I had a lot of fun messing around with it after I watched Booty Man's video. After playing around with his discovery for quite a while, I decided that toggling the intakes worked well, but actually toggling the engines worked better for flying and landing VTOLs. Thrust memory is a very cool feature for Spooty's method, but the only problem it has is the intakes take a second to close up, meaning you can't close them as quickly as you might want to. When you toggle off your engines, they respond right away, which is what I like. The main difference though is that when the engines are turned off, they're spooling down as well. When you turn them back on, they'll be slightly weaker than they were before, and they'll need to spool back up again. This isn't a problem if you toggle them off and on immediately, but if you wait a second or two, you'll be fighting gravity more than you want to, and you might run into some problems. Spooty Man's method doesn't have this issue, so you'll have to try both methods out and decide which one works best for you. Now I'll run you through how to use these methods. Performing each one is practically the same, so you can apply these principles to both techniques. I'll approach this from the engine toggling method though. If you watched my previous tutorials, you know that I'm a huge advocate for finding your hover point, and it is still valuable information here. When you do this, you want to be throttled slightly above your hover point. This gives you a buffer zone to work with when you toggle the engines off, which will prevent your plane from just dropping out of the sky. Watching your nav ball is the key to success with using either method. Keeping an eye on the prograde marker and the horizon line will tell you how much you need to toggle off the engines to either fly level or descend for a landing. I recommend practicing this a fair ways off the ground and throttled well up above your hover point to get a feel for how it works, but try to keep yourself at the same altitude by just toggling the engines on and off. Once you've got a feel for that, try it closer to the ground. For landing on the helipad, you need to know how to use these methods in two different ways. The first one is using it to eliminate all your vertical speed to level off. The second is to use it to gradually descend, either in increments or at a slow and steady pace. So let's run through a helipad landing together. You can either use your own VTOL or feel free to download any of these designs. The files are in the description below. Fly on over here and line yourself up with the helipad. I recommend quick saving out here to make practicing easier. Throttle up and head towards the vehicle assembly building. The helipad is about 177 meters above sea level, so keep that in mind as you climb. Once you hit that height, or a little above, you want to toggle off your engines to cut out the rest of your vertical speed and level off. Continue towards the VAB and slow yourself down by pitching up above the horizon. Once you're getting close to the pad, you can throttle down just under your hover point and toggle the engines really quickly. This will put you into a very gradual descent, and you can adjust either with your pitch or the toggle technique. Try to come in as softly as you can. 
Most planes can handle rough landings, but aim for somewhere under 10 meters per second vertical speed and 5 to 10 meters per second horizontal speed. Just enough to be able to stop before the end of the pad with the brakes. And there you have it! Try to incorporate these designs into your VTOL activities when you can. They should help make flying and landing your planes much easier. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you need more help, don't hesitate to shoot me a question in the comment section, as I do my best to respond to everyone. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.